Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Jason Evan Noiser, Loose Cave. It's Saturday night. It's Saturday night. It's only 6.30. It's only 6.30, and uh, I'm starting. I'm starting up all night. I just had a huge dinner cooked for the whole the whole crew, kids. Kids ate, uh, I, made, I made some homemade chicken wings, and... By homemade, I mean I, I bought the chicken, right? I didn't I didn't slaughter uh, forty seven chickens. Uh, we buy wings from a deli here in town, a meat market, for three dollars and thirty nine cents a pound, folks. Do the math. That's like twenty wings for nine nine ten meh, ten ten bucks ten and some change. Twenty wings for ten dollars, and I cook them better. Than, than anywhere. I, I use this incredible Goya uh, Sasson, it's called, this really good Puerto Rican seasoning for, for chicken and pork. Let it sit on the wings all day. Adobo, ba, 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 whatever that means. Uh, and then I just, I, I just bake them. Oh, you gotta put some baking powder on them. Baking powder crisps them up better than a fryer. Mm-hmm. And then we make our own, you know, blue cheese and hot sauce mix. And it's just awesome. They are the best. I will never buy restaurant chicken wings again. Those prices are stupid. Mm -hmm. It's not all night. It's not all night. I had my rice. I had my chicken wings. Uh, I had some leftover sauerkraut. That doesn't go. Those are two, you know, culture clashes right there. We got the Germans and the Puerto Ricans fighting on my plate. Um... So I'm not, I'm not going to eat with you till later, much later, but we definitely have some leftover chicken wings and I've got some sausage up there that I'm going to crush. Uh, but I'm starting up all night because the kids, this is their, this is their night. This is their time to have fun. They've, they've amassed like 25 friends on Fortnite and they all just go crazy up there. And I love it. I love seeing them have a good time. I'll probably stop. Uh, I'll probably go upstairs at like 8.30, a couple of hours, and we'll um, I'll finish uh, Fantastic Beasts 2 with them, whichever one that is. I don't like it. It's not that great. It's it's not Harry Potter. I love the Harry Potter, but I don't love the Fantastic Beasts. Uh, I'll probably play some Uno, and uh, I'll probably come back down here at about 11.30, 12 o'clock, after they have either settled or they're back on Fortnite with their with their friends. Uh, what's up, Jason McClintock? Uh, Jason is a friend of the channel. He's messaging me while we uh, just came in. I'll have to answer it in a minute. Um, hello, you are part of Nup All Night. Um, the Rambo figures are still up. Go get them. Go buy my Ram. Go buy my stuff. Go buy my stuff. You're going to help pay for my <laughs> Universal Studios trip. Uh, the, 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 here's what we're going to do real quick before we, uh, break for a little while. We're going to list the, uh, um, Chuck Norris figures. We're going to list the Chuck Norris figures and we're going to do something special for Lisa E. Hang in there. But we're going to list the Chuck Norris figures. Um, is, is this okay for everybody? Is this, is this all right? Let me, can I just, just give, give me, give me one second. Let me just get these. I hope this is okay. All right. Here we go. Chuck Norris and the car and I've got weapons somewhere let me check let me see uh, maybe I do maybe I don't maybe I don't um Hmm. Yeah, I might not. I might not have a lot of weapons. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Oh, it's taped up. Oh, no, it isn't. All right, the car is not, the car does not have the little, the little thingies that come out. I'm sorry to say the car does not have the little thingies. I'll have to take pictures of that. I'll have to make sure. I have to make sure that the buyer knows. But this is what's going up on eBay: Karate Commando's car and box, and all of the Chuck Norris figures. 
uh, incomplete, it seems. I thought that I, maybe I didn't ever have their weapons. So let me, uh, let me stand this all up, make it look real pretty, and we'll take a picture of it and we will uh, we'll sell it because they don't mean anything to me. And these aren't probably going to go for a lot of money. I'm going to put it probably at $120 buy it now with offers. Um, that should be fair, I think. Let me look for some weapons. Just hang out. You know, just watch the watch, watch the uncensored view of life here in the cave. Because I really thought that I had some Chuck Norris weapons. Somebody asked me if I was selling the Karate Kid Remco figures. No, but I am probably going to put the Karate Kid NECA figures, the whole the whole run of Karate Kid NECAs, because where they are upstairs in my theater room. I want to replace them with uh, the NECA Universal Monsters. Liam and I are getting into those. So I'm probably gonna get some for his birthday in April and then I'll put them up upstairs and they'll replace the uh, Karate Kid NECA. I'm over them. That's what's gonna happen here, folks. <sighs> really thought I had the Chuck Norris um, weapons, some of them anyway. I remember having like a staff. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, no big whoop. Let's uh, let's take a picture. Let's take a picture, so I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, I'm up all night. All right, they're all gone. They're up on eBay. $125, buy it now, best offer. Of course, always accepted. <clears throat> and I'll show you the space. They're gone. Folks, look. Look, look, look. Two. Two spots. Rambo. Chuck Norris. Gone. Excited. What am I going to put over here? I'm excited. Oh, oh, oh. I almost showed you my new pickup. Oh, oh. I don't know if the camera got it. If you look carefully, you might see what I, what I just got in the mail today. I was expecting... My 1986 uh, WF magazine, but that's running late, so that won't come till Monday. But the other item will come Monday also, so we'll have three, well, that's six, three new items to look at on Monday. Uh, so again, let's talk about the, um, let's talk about the purging. I'm not freaked out about it. Not in the least. I am so rejuvenated by this room and I am appreciating you know the wrestling stuff more and more the 80s stuff shelf more and more and um, the other stuff again was just a period of time where it was just buy everything and just be that guy who has a whole bunch of toys and um they they, they don't do anything now looking around the room there is I told you there's one other thing I was going to list is the um the uh John is it John Hawk Lincoln Hawk whoever the uh, the Sylvester Stallone over the top 16 inch doll a lot out of box it only sells for you know 50 60 bucks but in box it's 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 averaging about 120 dollars so I have the box I'm going to go get the box out of the crawl space in the next couple of days and and put that up also um I just want to be surrounded by stuff that I love down here. And I've said it before, I'm not gonna, I keep repeating myself, but the room is doing more than it's ever done for me. It's uh, super comforting and, and healthy down here. And I need that more than ever right now. And um, and so I want, I want the stuff. Like when I look at the wrestling stuff, every single thing up there has a story, has a history has feelings connected, has me connected to it. The Chuck Norris stuff, the Rambo stuff, has nothing. Nothing. I never played with them as a kid. I never cared about them as a kid. Even the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters aren't going anywhere. They're fine. They're only, they're literally taking up one little spot. Um, I'll probably move them 
over there at some point because I'm probably going to need that space for wrestling. But um, I think that's probably all I'll be getting rid of. You know, my McDonald's stuff I want to showcase a little bit more. Um, my PVC stuff I love. My A Team stuff. I mean, I watched the TV show. I love. I, it was. It was great. I'm not going to get rid of my what three figures, four figures. My my um, just kind of had a stroke just there. My Michael Knight Knight Rider car I had as a kid. That's not going anywhere. My Karate Kid figures. They're not going anywhere. And then I got some box stuff. You know, my sit and spin. That's fine. That's staying. My pal Snoopy bowling game. That's not going anywhere. My Dukes of Hazard barn busters. Nope, that's staying. My Crayola Caddy. That's staying. My Dukes of Hazard stuff, not going anywhere. My horror shelf, yeah, I mean, I might condense, I'm not condense it, but I might, I don't know, I might put it upstairs. I don't know, it might just stay down here, who knows? But it's okay, it's okay, because I'm, I'm you know, whatever. I wanted to I wanted to get as close to paying cash for this year's Universal Studios trip. I wanted to get as close to paying cash as possible. Every year, it's, you know, $4,000 on the credit card, it's a thousand dollars for the dog sitter. It's a thousand dollars for the van, um, and then you know it's a stupid amount of money at the at the actual park. So I already have you know I'm just anything I make from eBay, a little bit's going to go back into the into the channel. I'm just going to you know buy some cool stuff, and then I'm just going to sh shove the rest of the stuff in an envelope and and take as much cash to Florida as I can. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something for Lisa E. Lisa E, check this out. Before before we begin, I'll probably stop now. It's it's seven now. I'll probably stop. I'll go hang out with the kids. I'll watch. Well, they're not. They don't want to hang out with me. They're doing their thing. I'll I'll watch my stuff. A few episodes down here, and then um, we'll start up all night at like eleven thirty, twelve tonight. I think I'm gonna go to three. I could see myself going till three. I think three is a good number. I was playing Sonic Two the other day. That's a good one. I kind of like Sonic 2 better than Sonic 1. So we might play some Sonic 2. I know I've said that two weeks in a row that we're going to play Sega, but we might we might play Sonic 2. Oh, Lisa E, let's 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 do this for you. Let's go. We're going to be we're going to be taking the garbage out. Let's go take the garbage out. I know Stephen Brown likes this. Stephen Brown likes one. Now we're going to go upstairs in the madness because the kids are probably going to be screaming. Guys, let's see oh, yeah, there they go. They're screaming. Let me turn you around. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Uh huh. What's up, dude? Welcome to Nup All Night. How are you doing? Oh God, what are you doing? Let's go. Where is your game? Oh, I have to went to the game. It's gonna be hard. Bye. Let's see what this goof's doing. Right, Do the fans want to watch you kill somebody? No. So these are probably going to go. These uh, Karate Kid Nekas, and I'll put the Universal Monster stuff up there. I'm definitely not getting rid of the Golden Girls. That's not happening, but those guys might go. Having fun? Okay, that's his version of the middle finger. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yes, it's Harry Potter fat lady. I need to get my shoesies on. And listen to my garage door. Listen to how bootleg my garage door is. Ready? Listen to this. Oh, oh yeah, that's not going to hurt anybody. Let's throw this junk out. Whoa, somebody's fighting. All right, where's my... There it is. There you go, Lisa E. I did it. Ooh, got to recycle that. That's five cents. That's going towards... That's going towards Universal. All right. Let's do what we said we would do. Let's do it right. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
Ugh, what is that? That's nasty. All right. The popples, the popples can is clean. All right, listen to this. Neighbors love this. Yeah, I need a new garage door. Keep watching the channel, folks. I need a new garage door. All right, let's go in the house. The can. The can. Empty. The can is empty. For the first time in months, the can is empty. All right, we'll put it back wherever we're going to put it. We're not putting it anywhere for now. Actually, you know what? I don't... Let's see. Let's put it here. There. There's my can. Looking good. Got to get some more shelves. Got to fill that in and then figure out... I know those cereal boxes, those need to go up on the shelf for sure. And this is stuffed, so there's no room for that. All right, so that's it. I won't, uh, I won't do any more with you for now. Um, but I... <sighs> time is it 701 701 i think i'm gonna watch a couple episodes of twilight zone go upstairs mess with the kids until like midnight and then we'll start up all night Three. bigger better badder Well, kids, welcome, welcome, welcome to Nup All Night. It is here, it is time, it is uh, earlier than usual, but I got a partner here with me. I got a dog, and I just watched the Billiards episode of uh, The Twilight Zone. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to hang here. This dog ain't moving. The other one's way down there, if you can see. Where's the other one? Yeah, so I got both dogs with me tonight. Let me turn down this TV. Hold on one second. Here, let me put you right here. Right here on my... Here, just look at this feeling. All right. There you go. I had to, uh, had to turn down turn down TV. Pause the TV. You waking up? Huh? Look at this laid out dog. This is living, folks. It ain't even dark in here yet. I haven't even turned the lights off. There's still still action upstairs, and, and it's still early, but uh, Nup All Night has started, and uh, it started, uh, you know it started when we see the intro, the quick little intro that my friend Smash Ventura put together for me. That's right, THE Smash Ventura. You all know who he is. He needs to come back, work his magic. Um, I listed another item on eBay, so I'm looking at my thumb wrestlers, my carded thumb wrestlers, and I've got, um, if I'm going to buy more, they, they came in two packs, obviously, but the problem with them is that they double up the figures, so, you know, I have a Hogan versus Volkov, and I have a Hogan versus Stud, and I have a Junkyard Dog versus Piper, and I have a Junkyard Dog versus Nikolai, well... I don't need that, and I don't need to spend money buying the same figures over and over again. So I'm going to sell the Junkyard Dog versus Nikolai Volkov pack, because I already have Nikolai in the Hogan pack, and I already have Junkyard Dog, but he's in the Piper pack, and I don't have Piper. So I'm going to sell the Junkyard Dog versus Nikolai Volkov carded thumb wrestler set on eBay. So looks like lots and lots and lots of the little trinkets of the collection are up on eBay. And that's okay. That's okay. Because we're happier than we've ever been in this room. Right, dog? You awake? Raise your hand if you're awake. Raise your hand. Raise your paw if you're awake. Yep, just put your paw up if you're awake. Okay, you're awake. All right, and the other one? What are you doing? Where are you? There you go. You're, you're cuddling with the pound puppy. I love it. You're hanging out with the pound puppy. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, let's go do something. 
All right, we're starting off really uh, with a pathetic snack. No, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's the whole ah! ah! Let's go. All right, had to turn it around. Couldn't show you what I was. We're starting off with a pathetic snack. Honey Nut Cheerios. Now, I have good food. I do this one-handed. I have good food in the uh, fridge. It's waiting for me for later. But I'm saving that for later. This is all one-handed, folks. It's amazing. One-handedness. Gotta drink the almond milk. We just do my fridge, like cribs. Right, there's our first snack of the night. Pizza. While the kooks are going nuts in the other room. Actually, they're not too bad. They're not too bad this evening. Alright. Let's go. Alright, let's, um. I don't know, let's go back downstairs, I guess. See if I can shut the door. Uh, okay. Light on. Elbow. Get it. Get it with my elbow. All right, there we go. Okay. So they're not ready to hang out yet. I actually went upstairs to try to hang out with everybody, and they're not ready yet. They're not ready to hang. Elbow light, elbow, elbow. All right, there we go. Yeah, nobody's ready to hang out with me yet. So, we're just gonna sit back down and uh, and eat some Cheerios. Let me, uh, let me try to set you up somewhere here, if I can. Uh, no, that ain't gonna work. Hang on. Um. Hmm. Where am I going to put you? Eh, I'll just keep you right here. What's the big deal? So, <clears throat> it's early. It's early enough all night. And, um, I think we're going to play some Sega. We're going to play some Sonic 2. I like Sonic 2. I think I like it better than Sonic 1, as I've said. Hang on. Hang on a sec. That's good. All right, so I like Sonic 2 better than Sonic 1. I don't know why. Not really for any particular reason. Other than I'm sick of Sonic 1. The music in Sonic 1 insults you when you die. It's nerve grating. You know, as I've gotten older, Honey Nut Cheerios have grown on me. I didn't think they would, ever. I'm not a plain Cheerios guy. The Honey Nut's really good. But if you've never had almond milk with cereal, you should. Liam has to have it. Because he's allergic to dairy. So we've always had almond milk. And I always drank regular milk. But then when I was off milk for a while, I ate a lot of cereal with almond milk and, um, yeah, with almond milk. And it, I don't like almond milk in a glass to drink, but I like it in cereal because it almond milk tastes like the milk at the bottom of the cereal. So I'm just getting the whole thing.
right from the start. I'm getting the almond, I'm getting the cereal milk flavor right from the start. I recommend it. So, somebody suggested that we do like a, uh, a Friday nup all night and then come down here and film some Saturday morning stuff. And while I love that idea, I can't. Because I work on Saturday mornings. So what we're going to do is not tomorrow, but next Saturday night, I'll do nup all night on Saturday night. And then... I'll add Sunday morning to it, and it'll be cartoon Sunday morning. Who says they got to be Saturday morning cartoons? They'll be Sunday morning cartoons. So we'll come back down here in the morning. We'll watch some cartoons together. We'll eat some Honey Nut Cheerios, and then uh, then that'll be aired on Sunday. So next week is Nup All Night Plus. All right. You've sat me through me eating a bowl of cereal. Let's do some other stuff now. Well, all right, here we go. It's uh, midnight. And we're going to crack open monsters. Shrink wrap is still on. I've watched uh, a ton of... Oh, oh, it's cold. Mm. I've watched a ton of Twilight Zone in the last, like, month. It's really cold. I think I want my bathrobe. Twilight Zone out. This is season three, disc... No, season three, disc one. And I've got three more discs... Three, three more um, episodes to go. On this one, but I've been watching a ton of that. Now we're just gonna crack open monsters. Um, I've never seen this show. I think I might have maybe seen an episode here and there back in the day, as they say. Why can't I get this paper off? There we go. been a good night. Here's season one of Monsters. I wonder if this will be like more... This is from the, so the classic horror anthology series from Tales of the Dark Side, executive producer Richard Rubenstein. I wonder if this will be more cheesy than um, than uh, Tales from the Dark Side. All right, season one, disc one of Monsters. So there's probably 60 episodes, 72 episodes. All right, uh, we got to plug the TV in. I'm always unplugging this TV because I just don't know. We will we'll probably play. We'll probably play some Sega later. See what we got. I'm shaking. I'm cold. All right. Let's enjoy. Let's get. Oh, let me. Uh, come on over here. Come on back over here. Uh, the new. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off and get into our spot. I turn it down first. 
But I got my food. Let me show you what I got here. I got my chicken wings. Wow, this this will take a while. Here we go. Let's make it go. <laughs> got my wings. My, take a look at these wings, man. You are not. You are not getting wings anywhere that look like this. Trust me. You're not getting wings anywhere that taste like this. These are good. These are good wings. Um, so let's talk and eat for a while. I, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't eat wings with you on, on camera. I could eat Puerto Rican rice the way I'm, well, not the way I make it. I mean, I learned it from my stepmom, who's Puerto Rican. Um, she taught me how to make it. And uh, it's so good. I mean, it's the best. So yeah, wrestling shelf. has one new item on it that I will show you on Monday. And um, there'll be two items on Monday and a WWF magazine. And then another item should be here mid to late next week. Keep going. Look at these wings. Oh, that's all beautiful flavor. That is some flavor, boys and girls. I love salty. These are salty. They're so good. I don't even have any sauce. I don't have hot sauce. I don't have blue cheese. Not with this. These are so flavorful. And so good. You don't need anything on these. <clears throat> but you gotta drink. Or they're salty. Super salty. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh. Just go to your meat market. Buy wings. They're fatter and meatier than you'll ever get in a restaurant. At one of the places where we used to get wings... They stopped selling them in orders of 10 or 12. They sell them in orders of six for $12.99. Six wings, $12.99. 22 wings, $10 and change. You go, you go and you buy this thing called Sasson and adobo and you go heavy heavy with it let it sit all day put some baking powder all over your wings mix them all up let them sit in the fridge eight hours overnight whatever throw them on a, on a elevated baking rack right you gotta have a baking rack up and then a tray underneath so that they cook underneath 450 40 minutes 45 minutes. Incredible. If you don't include the baking powder, they're going to be soggy. Not soggy, but they're not going to be crispy. They'll be the most flavorful wings. Ever. 
So, where do we go with the wrestling collection? Do we, like the AWAs, I have some higher priced LJNs. I have Buddy Rose, I have Doug Summers, I have Shawn Michaels, I have The Sheik. I need I need Nord and I need Boris Zukov and I need Mario Gennetti. Why not? Right? If we're just focusing on LJNs, why not? I mean, if we're just focusing on wrestling, the Galoobs, I need one more. I need Barry Windham. Uh, UK. Oh, wait, I need Lex Luger UK. Not the robe. Green trunks. And then Barry Windham has a... Uh, maybe... I don't know what color Barry Windham's trunks are, the UK Barry Windham, but I need the UK Lex Luger. It's the same as the US Luger. In that awful pose. But his trunks are green. It's like a hundred dollar figure. But that's what we're doing. Alright, I'm gonna finish this and um and then we're gonna jump on the couch, turn the light off after I drink about a gallon of lemonade to soak up this salt. And up all night continues. We'll be right back. Here we go. It's monsters. It's 20 after 12. I'll get over here, not in the light. It's cold. So I had to I had to like stop filming the eating because I just I needed to dive into that food. I needed to get chicken wings all over myself. And I didn't want to uh you know be on a cringe comp or something. That was probably the best. That was probably the best chicken I've made and probably the best. That's, that's one of my best batches of rice. And if you're not Puerto Rican and so if you're not any culture <laughs> and, and, and if you make that culture's food, you're, you're not going to do it right. Just period. You're just not, um, you can use the exact same ingredients. You're not going to do it right. The cultural juice from your fingers doesn't exist if you're not the culture. Um, so whenever I make rice, it, it's not, it, it doesn't, it's not anything like my, my dad's wife. This one was close. This one was close. Uh, and the chicken was ridiculous and it really, it, it's just so good. It's so good. And I'm like, that was a real relationship. I just had, I just had relations with that food. I had, I had relations just now just now. And now I'm going to have relations with this, <laughs> this room. <laughs> As it gets later and later, we, we, we start to shift into PG 13 viewing. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, well, right now it's Sunday, but real tomorrow is Sunday. And Liam and I have to bowl in the morning. And then, oh, Beefers, not Beef, beef not the artist formerly known as Beefcake. I still have you in my phone as Beefcake, by the way. That's just, I can't change that. That's just, you'll always be Beefcake to me. Um, he was hoping I was going live tonight. Other people were hoping. We will, we will. It's pro we'll probably do live once a month, realistically. I mean, the kids are being quiet up there. They're They're having fun. We watched, um, I was away from you for several hours. We watched, uh, we, we played like an hour of Uno because we played the 500 and it took forever for Liam to win. And then we watched the second Fantastic Beasts, the crimes of Grim, Grimmel, Grimmel something. Folks, I have no idea what the movies are about. I don't know what the first Fantastic Beast was about. I don't know what the second Fantastic Beast is about. 
I'm watching them. I'm relatively intelligent, fairly. I have no idea what I'm watching. Um, they're just like they're like they should have just stopped at Harry Potter because I don't I don't know what these movies are about. I really don't. Um, and then that took us to about midnight, and now I'm down here, and I am tired, but. I'm going to try to go a little while tonight. I'm going to try to go a little while. I'm going to watch this Monsters deal. Um, all right, let's do that. Let's watch Monsters. All right, I just want to come on real quick. Uh, I totally forgot about the Monsters intro, where it's like a weird monstery family that is sitting down to watch TV, and like the mom has like one eye in the middle of their forehead, and you can see like that's the dad. And they're like, oh, let's, our favorite show is on, Monsters. And I very, very vaguely remember this intro. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to drop in and say that. Now I'm going to go watch the show. Uh, well, <clears throat> that wasn't a good start to Monsters. <laughs> Episode one of the series is called The Fever Man. And uh, it's dumb. It's like... Uh, I don't know, like early 1900s, which I hate anyway. I hate I hate that era in shows and stuff. But there's a a guy who has the ability to cure fevers, and so this other guy brings his kid to her to him to try to fix. You got to pay him and all that stuff, and, and okay, whatever. But then. The, you got to wait outside the room while this fever man is working on the kid or working on the fever. You're not supposed to disturb him. So he bursts in because he's nervous and he hears noises. He bursts in and the fever is out of the little girl, but it takes the shape of like this blubbery fat. And when I say fat, I mean literally like gelatinous, fatty creature that you have to fight and defeat. And I was like, oh, boy. So not not the best start to monsters. Here, I'll look, if you can see the TV, that's, that's, what, the, that's what the fever looked like. <laughs> Goofy, whatever. So not, not, a, not the best start to monsters, but the next episode is Holly's House. If there's some, like... I don't know. It. I don't know. 72 episodes. But I'll tell you what, though. It's, it's, it's a very throwback feeling. You know, laying late night on a Saturday night and watching horror TV. Not horror movies, but horror TV. That is a lost 80s art. You know, the Tales from the Dark Side, uh, Freddy's Nightmares, obviously Monsters, even Tales from the Crypt. Um, even even later, or, you know, um, earlier, like Elvira's stuff and, and like the, the late, the late, late, late horror show. You know what I mean? I, I like, I like how horror was much more innocent, you know, back in the day and just... You know, remember, if I'm watching this, I'm watching it at nine, ten years old. So regardless of how stupid the fever bad episode was, I'm still I'm still a kid who's laying in the dark by himself watching this. So, you know, it's still gonna it's still gonna scare me. I got like the worst. I gotta stop like picking my nails. Because I get the worst hangnails ever. And like this one is so bad. Look at this. You can't even can you see it. Look how bad that, that hurts so much. I like cut the skin off. I ripped the skin off. Anyway, I'm going to watch one more Holly's House. And then uh, we'll see what we do. I drank like an entire like half a quart of lemonade. Because that food was so salty. All right, let's watch another episode. We'll see you in a bit. Well, <laughs> it's not getting any better. Uh, I turn this off now.
that's two that's that's good enough uh holly's house was episode two it's a cross between child's play and peewee's playhouse where a uh i don't know it's like a little kid's show where this woman is controlling this puppet and i don't know the puppet comes alive i guess and attaches to the woman and calls her mom and she i don't know this isn't good so far monsters is kind of weak whatever i'm gonna watch it because i would have when i was 10 so i'm gonna watch it uh the the uh, up all the nup all night has taken an unexpected uh turn we uh, i'm gonna go upstairs now at 105 and hang out with the kids. They are still up and they want to watch uh, Universal Studios videos on YouTube. So we will do that. And then um, they'll go to bed and I'm going to get on the couch upstairs and uh, do my nighttime routine upstairs. I usually watch uh, World Class Championship Wrestling and um, Mid-South Wrestling on the Peacock Network before I fall asleep. So we'll do that later. So you'll see me getting ready for bed. And Nup All Night will continue just in another room. We'll be back. Well, all right. We've made it upstairs. I better get this off before it... We've made it upstairs. I, um... I'm going to watch Mid-South Wrestling. Let me, um... My little Finley back there. All right. Yeah, we're watching Mid-South on peacock yeah um uh it's two it's about two came up and watched uh some universal what are you doing you want some some attention what are you going over there now huh you going over there hey you're not gonna come get some loving anyway hung out with the kids watched some universal studio stuff uh paging mr morrow He's um he's he's a, he's he's a very unique fella, but they like to do that because it gets us pumped for December. And now they've gone up to bed, so it's just me. Um, I'm gonna get the nighttime routine going here. Get get on my get get my blanket, get my pillows. Um, I. This might be weird, but it's two o'clock in the morning, so I don't I don't mind, I'll tell you. I, I usually spray right before I go to bed I spray this area with cologne. <laughs> I spray I spray the couch and I spray like my my surrounding <laughs> linens with some cologne. Uh just because it's really comfy comforting to sleep in. But maybe that's weird. I don't know. So I will do that. I will go get one. Let's go do it together. Come on. I'll show you what I do. Why not? It's not all night. Let's go into the bathroom. Yeah. My Clinique happy for men. It's pretty awesome. Okay, there you go. So that when I get in there and get all comfy and cozied up, it smells good. cabinet there's no fungal cream what is there now we're gonna kill this light and uh i guess that's it that's um up all night three we get out of the couch ah smells nice i'm gonna get on the couch i'm gonna get undressed you don't want to see that or do you? And um, we're going to conclude up all night. It's a little after two. Yeah, a little after two. And now it's time to conclude. I think maybe next week we'll try a live show in addition to up all night. We'll see. We'll see. 
All right, thanks for hanging out, watching just a, some dork in his nighttime routine. We'll see y'all next time. Good night now.